thegreengirls.com. It's me, Rachel Avalon, and right now we're going to focus on Earth Day, which is a time where people usually start talking about light bulbs and planting trees. So we're going to talk about something a little different. The UN published a report back in 2006 that had an incredible message. We can create more immediate and lasting improvements towards climate change and the environment by eating less meat and dairy than by driving hybrids. How is this possible? Well. In the U.S. alone, even though the population is 300 million, about 10 billion land animals are slaughtered every year. Resources are wasted all along the way, and pollution is spilled out into the soil, the water, the air, and that affects us and various ecosystems. But don't worry, this isn't going to be a graphic campaign for animal rights, but it will help you connect some dots and hopefully inspire you to make some changes. Okay, let's look at some numbers. According to that UN report, livestock are responsible for approximately a fifth of the global warming emissions. That's actually more than all of the world's transportation combined. Speaking of combined, there are several factors that create that kind of number. First, you've got the feed. About 35% of the grain grown in America is for livestock. And that grain uses energy because of the farming equipment, the irrigation systems, and the fact that most fertilizers and pesticides, insecticides, etc., contain petrochemicals, as in petroleum. These fossil fuels are supposedly used to increase crop productivity. Now, these crops have to be transported to the livestock, which is usually some awful factory farm. Among other things, more energy is used to cut the beaks off chicks, castrate piglets, shock cows, or milk them with some freaky looking machines. Even the poor hens have lights which use more energy forced on them past normal daylight hours in order to trick them into laying more eggs. Can you believe this stuff? I mean, how did we let this happen? <sighs> okay, moving on before I go off on a total tangent. When the animals are sent off to slaughter and end up with new names like beef and pork, they're then shipped off to grocery stores, mega shopping centers, restaurants, and other businesses. But the fuel consumption sadly doesn't end there. Commercial and home refrigeration requires more energy, and so does cooking. The funny thing is, when people think about saving the environment, they often think about rainforests, which is great, but is timber really the biggest commodity? Well, about 70% of former Amazon rainforests are actually used for pastures and feed crops. But let's not forget the fun part, because U.S. farms alone produce 5 million tons of manure every day. And with that comes awful gases like methane. Ooh-wee! Mother Nature doesn't need that. Now, this doesn't mean that everyone has to become a vegan overnight. I'm still working on it myself. The point is, if you really want to maximize your efforts towards being a part of the solution, eat less meat and dairy. You can also make a difference by buying organic rather than factory farmed. Check out TheMetrix.com for more details. The more we support this movement, the more affordable and convenient vegetarian and vegan options will be for every citizen worldwide. Remember, organic, fresh, nutritious food is a gift intended not for the privileged, but for each one of us. To sum it up, Earth Day comes down to a greater respect for yourself, all living creatures, and the planet we share. So let's celebrate every day with what we eat and with what we drive. Thanks for watching and shine on! TheGreenGirls.com